Check that your business detail information is set up correctly. Access the business tab by going to the top left there. In the information here you must ensure that you've completed the postal address, the phone number, fax, mobile if necessary of course, direct dial number where necessary and also fill in an email and website information there. If you don't have a website of course this will remain blank but fill in as much detail as is necessary in here that you have available for your business. Don't worry too much about the REI 247 URL information that's showing here and this is something that will be inserted when the upload information is set up for you. Make sure you save your changes of course and you can go on to the next steps. In order to use the REI Inspect app you must have users set up in REI Master. You can see down the bottom left here that I'm already logged in with a user. If you need to set up users or you want to add additional users into REI Master go to the setup drop down list down to the users profiles and portfolios users and passwords. Here we can see two users already set up we're going to add in an additional user. So I type in my name my password, select the appropriate profile for your user as well. Obviously you need to fill in as well the mobile, phone, email information as necessary. Save your user there. You now have an additional user or new users set up in the program in order to upload to the REI Inspect app. Make sure you insert relevant information in the Upload to Web tab for each of the properties that you intend to do inspections for and upload information to the REI Inspect app. We'll just have a look at this particular property here under the Upload to Web tab and the property information. We need to fill in the underlined fields here for a street number, street name, the suburb, the state, and the postcode here. You can also select the country as necessary. Also complete the information for your bedrooms and bathrooms in the fields on the right hand side here. Underneath the additional features tab there enter in the parking spaces if applicable and you should also in the other details tab here check to make sure that a key number is inserted there. These bits of information will upload as part of the inspection into the REI Inspect app. Save your changes, make sure you go through and check each of your other properties that you have in here, making sure you fill in the relevant information as necessary. Set up your inspections through either the rental properties or through the tenants area. We're going to put an inspection into 12 Siesta Lane and under the Tasks and Notes tab here, under Add New, we're going to add an inspection. Insert the relevant date for your inspection of course. I'm going to adjust mine through to the 9th here. I'm going to update my start and end dates there and push through the information. It's going to fill in that it's for our tenant, Mr. Rabbit. In our details, we could fill in information as necessary if there's something particular that you're wanting to check as part of your inspection. The type is a routine, normal priority, and it's not started, of course. We can schedule our inspection under a particular user but we can nominate someone else to actually complete the inspection. We also want a reminder of course uh, for these ones here so we would update the information accordingly in the reminder box. What you can also do with your inspections of course is under the options area here set them up as recurring inspections. We're going to activate our occurrence and put it in here for three months in advance and we're also going to activate a reminder to be two weeks prior to the date that we require. So we've got our information in there. Our option now to save and close and close out of here. Now we're going to use the task manager to print out our entry notices. 
and also to upload our information to the REI inspector. Under the Tasks tab here, just going to change to show our All Tasks filter and then under the Task Type filter here, we'll change to show Inspections. We're looking at just incomplete information. Now, I've only got a few listed here. For those of you who have a long list of inspections reaching well into the future, use the Date field to search options. So you can see there's a different number of options available to you there. I'm just going to use this due date as an example. We select a range then between dates if we wish to do so, equal to dates, greater or less than as necessary. If I put between dates, so from between the 1st of the 5th, if I just put, change this to be through just for a week, 1st of the 7th, you'll see then that it shortens up or adjusts my list there just to show inspections with that date range. So certainly use that. It will certainly help you to filter your options there. Just going to return mine back to no filters. We're just going to upload a couple of those inspections there. But before we do, we want to print off entry notices for those ones. So we can do those individually or by using our control or shift keys on our keyboard, we can highlight multiple records in the list here. By right clicking, we then have the option to merge to entry notices and by selecting that option there we need to fill in the information about the entry notice itself. So these ones being inspections of course, we're going to nominate a seven day notice there. We also need to give an indication of who the agent is and who our person is who will be entering to do the inspections. So we're going to change the information in there about the person entering. We we'll just double check our address and phone contact information of course. We must also select our method of issue in here. Now two options showing in there are by post or in person, but you can actually overtype in here your email or your method of issue if it was an email or fax as an example. Once you've completed the detail there, select the entry notice option. We then have our entry notices showing on the screen here, ready to print out as necessary with the relevant information in here. So this one, first one here is for Mr Wayne Swan and if we scroll down on here we can see the other information has been completed correctly. Of course the last thing to do with this one will be to print it out, print your name and sign and date it. Our second page of course is the um, notes for the entry notice. Our third page is our second entry notice here to Mr Abbott and the last page of course the notes for that particular entry notice. To print those out, as mentioned, sign and date them. We'll close out of there and close this one. The other thing we want to do with those two highlighted inspections, of course, is upload those to our REI Inspect app. And again, to do that, having them highlighted, we right-click and select Upload Data to REI Inspect. We're asked, do we wish to upload that? Yes, we do. And we must then confirm that we have entered the address information in the Upload to Web section or Upload to Web tab in the property screen itself. Yes, we want to continue and we then have our inspection information being uploaded successfully to our app.